Tag team action here at Crossfire and a couple of veterans with an agenda, with a cause, with a chip on their shoulder, with a little bit, well, let's say a lot of bit to complain about. haven't seen before a tag team that maybe I know for myself I didn't realize how perfect this would be. Can you think of any two men better than Bruce Gray and Nate Matz? Well, they certainly seem to share a lot of the same grievances about pro wrestling. We've seen both of them on separate events after narrowly losing matches take out on the rest of the world and we may pick up where we left off. perspective of the business, but I don't think they need to give the business to all of us just because they don't agree with everything they see. It's subjective business. We'll see what they're subjected to with the opponents. That's accurate. Well, oh. my belly hurt. That's what I'm hearing. Well, how about hearing that primal scream of Jackson Cade 
who's still showing to represent the commission, Nolan Edwards, the substitution, uh, trying to respond in kind. We'll see what they can put together, man. I'll tell you what, the commission had an impressive debut a couple months ago where they battled System Elite, got a big victory there. I love the energy, I love the intensity. We're not getting 100% commission here tonight, but we'll see if we're getting enough to maybe silence the critical nature of the amazing Nate Maxson and True Grit Bruce Gray. Well, 50% commission is better than no but seriously, I had food poisoning twice today, and I'm still Oh, here. you did not. I did. Last month, too. Wouldn't surprise me the way you ate. Watching me. Watching uh, Jackson Cade Park. Certainly the people follow me. A lot of dogs in this place. What does that mean? You can write this down. This is what I'm doing. Now, Nate and Bruce seem to blame the fans for a lot of the problems that they perceive pro wrestling of having present day. Would you concur with that? Well, you know what? I'm actually going to tell, tell you right now. They're wrong. They should not blame the fans for some of the problems in the wrestling business today. Yeah? Yeah. They should blame the fans for all of the problems oh. that are wrong in the wrestling business today. If these kids would just would just get off their cell phone and maybe maybe watch a headlock or two and not all these, these flippity do da day type of moves. You, in my day, we didn't have cell phones where you could go on the interweb and we were better for it. When was your day anyway? Well, it was a little bit after Thunder Kitty's day. Let me just put it that way. Well, Nate and Bruce are strategizing, and I don't think uh, they're in a hurry. You've managed tag teams before, BC. How do you grade what the chemistry may be between Jackson Kane and Nolan Edwards? We only found out this afternoon about Lex, in, Lex uh, Vegas' illness. Well, first of all, I'd tell a normal tag team partner to quit your belly aching and uh, maybe get your gear on and, and get in the ring. That's the first thing I'd do. But I'd have to find a common denominator between the two. Do they have a common interest? Do they share a common bond in any sort? Maybe uh, their trainers know one another. You gotta find some kind of common bond, and more importantly, you gotta find out their strengths and weaknesses. Maybe where one is weak in one aspect, the other one can pick him up. But you're going in there against guys that have a wealth of experience that have taken on a number of people in this business. And you talk about Nate Matson, who's in there right now. You think Alex Shelley, you think Chris Saban, you think that lineage that comes from Detroit, Jimmy Jacobs, so on and so forth. And there's the guy that's pinned them all. Matson has shared a ring with uh, everybody from AJ Styles on down in his career. Uh, beat many of them. I had the uh, privilege of calling many Johnny Gargano, Nate Matson matches one on one over the years. As Nolan Edwards now turned things around. Edwards, a young kid who's also been breaking in around the uh, Northwest Ohio and Michigan area. Um, Actually, uh, has a background with MTV. Uh, from what I understand, he spent three or four years as one of the, the field cameramen on the TV show Catfish. Wow. So, so uh, television experience. I will have you know that uh, Nate Matson once appeared on an episode of Sandblast. Is that true? That is true. And uh, Bruce Gray was in the audience for uh, Yo! MTV Raps back in the day. So, I'm not so sure. Well, that is true. And pop-up video as well. So let, let's give credit where it is due. Did you say that Bruce is in the audience for pop-up video? Oh, well, he, he, he had watched it. That's, that's pretty see. close. Okay. Nate with a hammerlock. Um, Nolan Edwards, you've talked a lot in the past number of months about uh, kind of a youth movement, a young talent initiative here in Premier. We're seeing so many young guys and girls come in the doors and look to impress. And some stick around, some don't. Nolan Edwards has a very tough draw, though. You know, we always have young kids hanging around looking for an opportunity because you don't know if there's going to be an injury or an illness or a car breakdown somewhere. This is Edwards' lucky day. He had an opportunity. He's making the most of it. And check out Nolan firing away on Nate Matson. I love it. Cover here. Two count only. We talked about what it meant for Calvin pinning Andrew Palace. What would it mean if Nolan could pin Bruce Gray or even Nate Matson? Oh, it would certainly be a feather in the cap, especially because I, I, I have a source that actually told me that uh, Nolan Edwards actually poisoned uh -oh. Vegas' food. And that is not true. That's why he's oh, here come tonight. On. Jackson Cade in with Bruce Gray, and Cade is uh, got to be north of three bills and knows how to use that body mass offensively. And what a deep slam by Jackson Cade. 
Got every bit of that impact and drops the leg as well. That tree trunk across the neck gets two. Jackson Gay, definitely a guy that can move, no doubt about it. Without question. So we've got a powerhouse with speed, teaming with uh, and Jackson K teaming with Nolan Edwards from uh, MTV's Crawford. That never mind. And I know, BC, you, you, you've seen the commission, you watched their debut. Certainly this uh, duo has a potentially a very, very big upside. Well, there's no doubt about it. You think of the tag team we saw a defeated System Elite that at one point were right in the thick of it of the tag team title picture. We've got the team of the main event. We've got the team of uh, Cornelius Crumbles and Sonny DeFarge, Crum Farge, as they're known. Uh, you've got any two members of the combination. Hey, there's two on one right here! See, you, you just saw a little bit of miscommunication between the teams. That could come back to really haunt them going here down the line. But there's a lot of great tag team individuals. And in. well, look, look, Cade using Nolan as an offensive weapon, almost like Terry Funk in a ladder. Well, you asked me uh, what you tell a tag team to use. I don't think I would have come up with that one, so I got to give them credit. And from what I understand, there's more exciting teams on the way. Who? Tell me. Does anybody need a man representation? They're not here yet. How about Team Storm? You didn't mention them. I would love to manage Team Storm. I don't mean you. Look on the outside. Collision. Nate and Bruce collide head on. And man, for a first meeting this afternoon, as far as I know, Nolan and Cade, they got a few kinks in the armor, but they're looking pretty good. Well, right now, they're definitely looking as a well oiled machine here. Maybe. Did Bruce pull the leg of Nolan to slow him up? Uh, that allowed Nate to get the knee? No, I, I don't think he did, no. No. I, that's, that, you must know a different Bruce Gray than I do. Really? Yeah, spelled differently. I'll tell you what. If you're not gonna, gonna hold Bruce accountable, if you're gonna put it past Bruce Gray to take a shortcut, to get his message out there, get ahead in life. I don't think you know Bruce that well. Uh, Bruce Gray has that old school attitude I mentioned at our last event that uh, he's an Uno champion. He's a chess player. Not only is he a chess player in you know the actual game of chess, but he's a chess player in that ring. He's always thinking about the next move. What can I do next? What may, might my opponent do? And when you've got two technicians like Nate Matson and Bruce Gray, that's an easy thing to come together. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for Cade and Edwards to be able to do that because they don't have that experience. Bruce Gray calls himself the master of the DDT. Smart tag team wrestling. Pull your opponent into your corner. Cut that part of the ring off. And you yell at people to keep their baby quiet. Also great tag team wrestling. Road Warriors did that all the time. They, they did not. I'm pretty sure they did. What business is that of Nate's who's making noise? Oh, kids are annoying. Well, get used to it. They're part of society. Not my society. I don't have any kids that I claim. Oh, disgusting. Nate Matson. The knee to the small of the back of Nolan Edwards, who in wrestling terms is a young kid looking to make an opportunity for himself, looking to, to, to break open a door here against uh, two of the craftiest and most conniving young veterans in the game. Bruce Gray and Nate Matson after the double team stomach breaker only get two. Notice Bruce keeping himself between Nolan and his corner. You know, to piggyback on what you said, sometimes it only takes one win, one victory to really propel your career. That's what this could be for Nolan Edwards. And, and maybe, not that I'm the type of guy to do this, but if they were able to pull off what you would have to agree as an upset, would uh, Jackson Cade maybe continue with Nolan Edwards? Would he, would he want to take back uh, Lex Vegas? How would he How would he feel? We almost have a uh, tag team quarrel. Well, I think you're trying to create controversy and uh, dissension where one does not exist at this point. Nolan has stepped up and helped out uh, uh, someone in need and create an opportunity for himself as well. I don't think there's any kind of uh, malfunction in the junction, but check out Nate Matson helping Bruce Gray, the illegal abdominal stretch, the officials on the wiser. Now, now what what business does Jackson Cade have in the ring? Tell me that right now. Well, he's trying to alert the official, but unfortunately, the temper of Cade was getting the better of him. You don't instinctively want to jump into action when somebody's Beating up a friend of yours or a partner of yours two on one? My friends can help themselves. I'm, I've got other fish to fry and things to do. Look, he's doing it again. Yeah, well, Jackson Cade is doing what he can to, to try to stop this infraction. Yeah, but he should know 
as in tag team wrestling, he's hurting his partner Nolan Edwards right now. Well, I'm, I'm sure once he settles down and looks at it with a level head, he'll realize that. But man, I'm glad I'm not close friends with you based on how you speak about them. I've got many friends. It's just that sometimes they're a pest. Bruce and Nate Matson again, the illegal usage of the leverage and the official breaks the hold and there's a hip block by Nolan. Now, where was that any business to Tom Dunn's first? What, enforcing the match? Well, if they were, you've never held hands with a friend or a partner or a tag team or, or anywhere like that. During a competition? Well, hey, it's never a bad time to say something nice. Oh, wait. And it's also never a bad time to knee Nolan Edwards in the face. Yeah, that's, uh, patented Nate Matson offense, that running knee strike, and taking out on some of these ringsiders. You know what, maybe he could, maybe he could uh, quiet down that baby, too. Not with a knee, that would just be horrible. Sort of like a nerve pinch. The, okay, that, that, just stop talking, that's enough. Bruce Gray, the double underhook, the Dory Funk Jr.-esque suplex, and notice Bruce and Nate living up to that cover here for two. What they said in, uh, the pre-match comments this month and Bruce's comments last month. There's no flips, there's no dives, there's no stoppages, there's no uh, nothing you want to put in a gif and put online. Uh, Nate and Bruce are just hard-nosed, in-your-face, classical, map-based wrestlers. Well, there's enough stuff online for uh, people to look at. They don't need to be worrying about gifts or, or whatever the kids call them. I will say Nolan Edwards right now has been in there for an awful long time. Bruce Gray and Nate Matson in front of control and if, if, if no one can get a tag to Jackson Cade, then, then he's got something here because he's been the fresh man on the apron. But Nate Matson and Bruce Gray not letting it happen. Smart tag team wrestling. Uh, definitely, you would have to say, a. Uh, I spoke too soon. Yeah, Nolan is finding a way to fight out of the corner. Can he get to the tag? Can he get to Jackson Cade? Nope. Oh, Flapjack. Shades of the Fame Midnight Express. Will it be enough? Bruce on top. He's good. No. I feel for Jackson Cade here because, man, he has been uh, on the outside looking in for almost this entire match. Well, if, if his partner didn't have a, a belly cramp, then maybe uh, it would be a different Stop. scenario. How can you demean and just dismiss a serious illness like that? You know Lux Vegas did everything in his power to be here. And you knew he, he, he fought that, uh, he fought food poisoning every step of the way in an attempt to be, be better on time. But, man, there's nothing you can do once that gets in your system. Wah! Nice drop kick by Bruce. There's nothing you can do when you get drop kicked in the face, too. Well, you can try to kick out. We'll see if no one's able to. Just barely. Frequent tags by Matson and Bruce Gray. This is how they feel the business should be. Oh, they feel the business because they're right. And see, Nate Matson took it to He was tired of hearing all that uh, attempted interference. Hearing the attempted interference? Absolutely. Well, no, Nate manipulates Kane to get in the ring so they can do another double team. Ah, eh, tomato, tomato. Please. You know, we have very different views on things. You think? You just now realize that. A little bit. We've only been doing this for about two, three years. Really, that's all. Nolan lands on his feet and gets to Jackson Kane. Here we go. Breaking through the clothesline. There's another the clothesline of another sort. Jackson Kane showing you what he's capable of. He's been on the outside looking in for several minutes. And Jones, like I said, he's had all that time. He's the fresh man. Oh, my. Nate and Bruce in a bad way. Here we go. Spinning sidewalk slam nicely done. Could be upset. No. You put all that weight down on the, onto the ribs in the back of Bruce Gray with that impact. Uh, oh God. Get him, Nate. Well, I think Jackson Cade is feeling no pain at this point, but you can't say the same about the amazing Nate Matson. Yeah. <laughs> line Nate out of his boots. And, well, we'll see if this is a mistake or not. Edwards wants another shot at this. He thinks he can finish this off for the team. Rocket launcher. Oh, some more Midnight Express action, but didn't pay off that time. Nate matching the low bridge, came to the floor. And meanwhile, oh, 
Bruce snaps off the DDT. Bruce snaps off the DDT. Is he legal? I guess he must be. And Bruce and Matson victorious. lesson to all the kids out there that when Nate Matson and Bruce Gray say something you're supposed to listen and it's just that simple it's it's basic listening to people that know better that have been there longer than you just kind of like you and me you listen to me and look how well we do so because Nate and Bruce won this match then everybody else's opinions wrong yeah see uh oh well Jackson can't may have an opinion to throw into this situation that Nate and Bruce don't want to hear, but you gotta believe Lex Vegas will be healthy soon, and Nate Matson and Bruce Gray will see if they can continue to reshape the business in their image.